Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Paul, and in this Red Game Telecom video, we're going to be going through an absolute deluge of Ryzen information. This is everything from the system setup that they were using at the New Horizon event. In other words, pitting the Ryzen CPU against the 6900K, voltage information, and a heck of a lot more, and possibly even some hints regarding the chip's release date. Now, I cannot take credit for finding this stuff. A couple of chaps actually sent me this. One individual by the name of Rod, and another one, I'm probably going to pronounce his name incorrectly, I can only apologise, uh, I believe it's Yuzhong, and he is uh, a Chinese chap, and he's actually provided some translation on our behalf as well, which is incredibly kind of him. So, let's start out with Rod's stuff first, because it's probably the easier of the information to digest, because the second part is going into release dates and other bits and bobs, and it's a little more complex, but I'll explain why in a moment. So, first things first, let's go into possibly the least um, surprising thing in the world, and that is the Cinebench and the Fritz benchmarks that I reported on most likely being fake the other day. And according to XEXP Review, that is indeed the case. Now, EXP Review typically do have a pretty good handle on things, and there are Chinese website, and they have reported... Uh, that the benchmarks were fake. I'm unsurprised about that. I did say that I was extremely sceptical of them, despite a couple of people going absolutely ballistic on them online and obviously comparing them to the updated Intel stuff. So I think it's good that they're fake, or at least we've got a good uh, handle on the fact they're fake. But let's go into the more interesting stuff. So another website by the name of bitsandchips.it has a small update concerning Ryzen, on the demonstration that was shown, of course, at New Horizon. It's so it's so bloody uh, confusing to say Ryzen, New Horizon, Zen. It's, uh, anywho, when you're all trying to do all this stuff, it's like mental track time. Anywho, so they report that they have sources. They obviously cannot specify those sources because if they said Bob on the engineering team, he'd probably get fired. And I'll read out the article in full because it's pretty short, well, at least the pertinent part. AMD has set up a higher than usual vCore. This explains the higher full load consumption of Ryzen 95 TDP compared to the full power uh, consumption of the 6900K. And they also confirmed that once again, Turbo was disabled for Ryzen. So from what it would appear, they increased the, the core clock, be uh, sorry, the core voltage because they're still not 100% settled on the final production silicon of Ryzen, and therefore they were like, you know what, this is going to be like make or break, we don't want it to be SOD on stream, because we're obviously pushing for higher clocks, so I 100% concur with their decision on this, and that's absolutely fine. And a couple of other um, leaks regarding the so-called Threadripper. Now, Threadripper, as you might recall, was patented along with Ryzen and a few other bits and bobs that we saw. Uh, I've mentioned those leaks a while back, and obviously those patents are now public. So Threadripper, most folks had assumed was going to be AMD's public name for SMT, also known as simultaneous multi-threading, also known as we would like to be like Intel's, you know, uh, i7 range. And it would appear that at least the editor at Tweaktown has confirmed that SMT on Zen will indeed be called Threadripper. Now, obviously, that's not AMD telling you that. So whether you want to put stock into that, that's up to you. There is also a very small update concerning the specifications of the systems that were running on the um, New Horizon event. So basically, the two systems... Lisa Su was showing off um, were very much identical. So, for example, you had the same uh, SSD, 512 gigabytes. You still had uh, a you know Windows 10 installation, Battlefield, uh, Battlefield One, blah 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 blah. But the key differences here, and this is perhaps the most important, uh, and Rod pointed this one out, which was incredibly nice of him. A, you have both. Systems were using stock coolers, that was both the Intel and the uh, Zen, but Zen was actually running on 
uh, slightly higher clock speed than what Lisa Sue told us. She told us it was 3 gigahertz, or sorry, 3.4 gigahertz, and it appears to be 3.45. The battlefield tests were also conducted on a Titan X with the NVIDIA version of 376.19. Now, the reason I find that interesting isn't la 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 la, you know, Titan is faster than Vega. It shows that, yes, there's a very good chance that at the moment their drivers are not stable or fast enough to be, well, you know, considered finished for them to be using it for PR purposes. And I did say that I felt that the New Horizon event demonstration of Vega felt rather... How can I put this? I, I don't like to say unrehearsed because obviously it's a live event and you can only rehearse live a certain amount, but it didn't feel it didn't feel quite as tight. It didn't feel quite as well produced. It almost felt like they were rushing at the last minute. And I believe this was in a direct re uh, reaction, excuse me, to the fact that the Doom demo popped up. And it also felt rather iffy as well because when they were showing off a lot of the other performance of the other um, Ryzen or whatever, they were very boastful about the performance of the of the CPU. But with this, they weren't. They were rather low-key. They didn't give away any specifications. They didn't give away any hint of the clock speed, the pricing. Uh, and I personally believe that they were not intending to show off uh, Vega. So that also kind of reinforces on this that... Yeah, that's a possibility. Anyway, let, let me get on to the bloody point, damn it. What it also shows is that the memory in this is DDR4, two sticks of 8 gigabytes at 2400 megahertz. So some folks believed that the i7 uh, 6900K was actually had a slight advantage. So they believed that it had four sticks, but that's not the case. So it, it didn't have a quad channel memory or anything like that. So that is quite nice. We, we do have a little bit of a, uh, of, of a uh, I guess, apples for apples comparison. And it also points out that the code name for this is Gollum. And, oh, I'm sorry, Golmet. Oh, I was just about to go, Gollum, Gollum. I have I don't know I don't know what's not going on with me this morning. I'm on a I'm just hyper. I don't know if it's lack of sleep or what. But anyway, Golmet. And it looks like that would indicate the board revision. Um and I'm gonna assume that Golmet is also the X three seventy. Um I don't know. I mean, whether that's gonna be the working name, whether that's the PR name, whether that's the you know Theory name, I don't know, but I guess Golmet is it is, and it's also S U R, so it, that's also quite interesting. Anywho, uh, let's continue, shall we? Um, now, I want to amalgamate a couple of points actually, and one of them is a, a Chinese website such a store. Now, according to Yu John, I won't give his second name for obvious reasons. He believes it's an official shop from AMD. It's not, and I quote, a third-party retailer. And I'll read out his quote verbatim. Uh, he says, it's all Chinese, but basically it says, let's talk about Ryzen CPU's performance and what they are expecting from Ryzen and scan the QR code and leave the comments. It will be a giveaway announcement from uh, 2016-12-18 to 2017-1-18. So in other words, that would be January the 1st, uh, I'm sorry, January the 18th, this competition ends. And the most thumbs up comment will get a brand new Ryzen CPU for free. The point is the date of the announcement is 1-18, which I think the 8-core Ryzen will be sold on the market. That's his opinion at the end of it. Now, what that probably indicates is that we're going to start getting some very good understanding of when the processor is going to be released. And indeed, um, there is also on the shop that if on the official shop, um, not only is the Ryzen, but they also give away a lot of keyboards and headsets. And most interesting is 500 yuan and 1000 yuan cash coupon for Ryzen, it means it's not cheap. 500 yuan is at like 75 US dollars, whereas uh, 1000 is about 150 US dollars. Now, continuing that, there are a couple of other individuals. Uh, this has also popped up on Reddit, by the way, a couple of hours ago, and it's very much the same. Now, that 
doesn't mean that we're going to get the release on that date. It's possible slash probable that it's either going to be a paper launch or the competition will end and then multiple weeks later, two to three weeks later, the processor will be launched. Now, do remember, CES 2017 is most likely the candidate of the um, tell-all from AMD. Now, what I mean by that is CES 2017 is like happening in the first week, basically, of January. Uh, it obviously takes place over a couple of days, so I'm just going to call it the first week. And so I assume at some point Lisa Su or someone else from AMD is going to go on stage and say, the processor is going to be released at X. And she has been rather forceful on the fact that it is going to happen on, uh, I don't know, the first quarter-ish. So if this is accurate, it would at the very least appear that um, it's going to take place in the first uh, first quarter quite early. Now, this probably means we're going to be looking at a paper launch. So, we're either going to be looking at very limited samples, and I do mean super limited, like, you know, you might get a couple of leaked reviews-ish happening very early January, slash maybe coming into very early, sorry, late January to early February, and I don't know what the release date is going to be, but it's quite interesting nevertheless. Assuming all of that is accurate, of course, which um, it appears like it's pretty genuine, but Obviously, at the end of the day, I don't live in uh, those locations, so I can only make a report. But, um, yeah, hopefully you found it kind of interesting. Now, what's my take on all of this? Well, it's going to be an interesting couple of weeks. Uh, let's just put it that way. So, But, for now, I'm going to let you all go. Take care of yourselves. Normal stuff. Like, share, subscribe, all of that stuff. Um, we are putting together a couple of bits and pieces right now. Amy is working on a keyboard review. I am going to be starting out the Nintendo Switch analysis because a couple of folks have messaged me regarding that. And also I put out a straw poll and it won quite handily. So I'll be doing that. And then I'll probably be putting out the Scorpio. I guess all you know, all we know about Scorpio over the next couple of days after that. Um, and also a couple of reviews as well. Hardware reviews, that is, just to clarify. So I think that's just about it. Um, that's a small update, so take care of yourselves. Bye for now.